Open up, Curly. This is a raid. A raid? Curly? Um, all right, but, uh, I don't know what you expect to find in a uh, simple, uh, neighborhood pet shop. Pet shop, eh? Well, I just have one question. What kind of pet shop is filled with rambunctious yahoos and hot jazz music at 1 a.m.? Um, no. Uh, the best damn pet shop in town. Yeah! All right, but you people remember, baby turtles and alligators may seem like a cute idea for a pet, but they grow up. Let's go, boys. Wow! Those gears down there really hurt. 42 bathtubs, please. You know, they're 50 for $3,000 today. I said 42. Now you're making your own alcohol? That's even more illegal than what you were doing before. <laughs> Remember, honey, we're just obeying an unjust law here. We're patriots, like all those people in jail. Are you the beer baron? Well, if you're talking about root beer, I plead guilty as char diddly arged. <laughs> He's not the Baron, but he sounds drunk. Take him in. Are you the beer Baron? Yes, but only by night. By day, I'm a mild-mannered reporter for a major metropolitan newspaper. Don't crack wise with me, Tubby. Tubby? Oh, yes, Tubby. Hey, Banner, how's it hanging? None of your business. Kaboom! Blam! Oh, excuse me again, dear. Homer, there's no point in pretending you're making those noises. Your homemade liquor is exploding again. What, dear? Kablamo! You made some money and had the fun of being a wanted criminal. Why not quit now? While you're ahead. Boom. I'll be right back. I've thought about what you said, honey, and I've decided to quit. I'm happy to report that the flow of illegal liquor seems to have dried up. Public drunkenness has ceased, and those mysterious liquor clouds over Evergreen Terrace are gone. People, Rex Banner has won your war against alcohol. Yeah! What about the beer baron? I suspect he was just an invention of the media. We now go live to Evergreen Terrace, where I'm informed that former police chief Wiggum has captured the Bear Baron. Oh. Oh. Captain Homer? And he who shall violate this law shall be punished by catapult. <laughs> Last time I helped you. Sorry, I thought you'd get a fine, or at most three, four years in jail. Hold it. This machine is two centuries old. Better test it first. No. Okay, go ahead. Wait! Wait, you can't do this! All my husband did was violate a law that doesn't make sense. Now, I'll admit car crashes and fistfights have been down recently, but prohibition has cost us our freedom. Our freedom to drink! Now, hold on a minute, Missy. It's not up to us to choose which laws we want to obey. If it were, I'd kill everyone who looked at me cockeyed. Our laws are in place for a reason. Send him back like to that. Mama, boy. That was unexpected. Well, reset the catapult and let's get this over with. Wait! I've discovered more lines on the parchment. It says that the prohibition law, which was passed here 200 years ago, was repealed 199 years ago. Release the prisoner! On behalf of the city, I'd like to apologize and ask how long it will take for you to flood this town with booze again. Well, sorry. I'm not in that business anymore. Four minutes.